So one thing that really helps uh, prevent SI joint pain and low back pain is strengthening through your low back with some baby cobras. So baby cobra essentially looks like this. This is what it looks like. Except I'm bearing little to no weight in my palms and I'm really focusing on isolating the muscles in my low back to keep my heart lifted. Yeah, so I'm not gonna strain the neck up. I'm gonna keep my gaze down so the back of my neck is long and my lower back is completely engaged. To keep through this engagement, we focus on gluing the tops of the feet down, gluing the pelvis down, and lifting through our heart. So once we glue that down, engage through our pelvic floor muscles, our glutes, we are able to isolate our low back muscles and lift our heart. Another pose that really helps with lower back pain is a stretch called a twist. We can do a seated twist by extending one leg out, carrying the opposite leg across, grabbing hold of our outer thigh, using our back hand as a kickstand, and then twisting from our mid spine. Holding it here for about three to five breaths, and then switching sides, extending one leg, carrying the opposite over, grabbing hold of the outer thigh, Again, we're bearing little to no weight in the back end. Another series that really helps through our low back and our back in general is like through warming up our spines through cat and cows. Coming into a tabletop position where our hips are stacked right above our knees. Our hands come right under our shoulders and our elbows. Spread through the fingers, use your inhale to Lower through your belly, raise through your chest and your chin. Exhale, round through your spine like a cat. Focusing on contracting your, retracting your shoulders away from your chin. I'm trying to get all movements to start from the base of your spine. Another thing that really helps with low back pain or even just encouraging low back movement is coming into back bends. So for a back bend, we do the same thing we do in our cobras. We really engage through our thighs, our bellies, and we try to keep our hips stacked right over our knees the entire time. For a sitting back bend, I'll place my hands to frame my low back. I'll look up roll my shoulders back as if I'm dragging my elbows together, engage through my core, and then begin to lift. I can look up, I never want to dump my neck back, I want to keep my chin lifted, neck long, core engaged, encouraging some opening through my spine, and then slowly making my way out of it. We can take the opposite shape through a forward fold, Encouraging space between the vertebra, so forward fold. You can take just about any leg variation. You can bring your feet together. Let your knees splay into butterfly. Legs can come wide. Or you can even keep your legs close by together. If you do have tighter hamstrings, it might feel nice to bring a bend through your knees so you're not pulling on your low back. Inhale, lift and lengthen. We never fold on a rounded spine unless we're coming into a passive fold. So for an active fold, we lengthen and then we begin to fold, and we can grab onto our calves, our ankles, our feet, as long as we keep that spine long.